Hey everybody, Brad from Circular Drone here. I've got a different product today. I've got the Ruco R111 uh, Remote ID Broadcast Module uh, for the United States. I'm not sure if it can be used for other countries with Remote ID or not, but I know this one is uh, for the FAA here in the United States, but it can be used on any kind of aircraft, wing, fixed wing, uh, helicopter, drone, anything. And so this will make your anything over 250 grams uh, remote ID compliant. So that's pretty cool. It's a very compact, very light. It's only 13.5 grams or 0.48 ounces, so like half an ounce. So it's very light. It also comes with Velcro. So you can put those. I think it comes with two Velcros and a couple like double-sided stickers. So you can put this on different models. You can move it back and forth between, like if you have something that's not, like some of the older drones that don't have remote ID. Like today I have the, I actually have the, the Ruco F11 Mini, which I'm going to put the R111 on. And I actually have the Velcro on the side there. So yeah, again, the uh, R111, you can also be used for uh, GPS tracking. So if you lose your drone, you can actually track it with the Ruco scanner app, which I have on my phone. I'll show you that real quick also. This needs to be registered with the FAA if you want it to work properly. You just go on the, the drone zone site, and it has a serial number on top here and you just register it like you would a drone and then you can go into the Ruco scanner app and actually connect to it with the scanner app and then put in whatever model drone you have at the time that you're going to be flying. It's got a long battery life. It only takes 40 minutes to charge it. This one it took probably 20 minutes because it was already halfway charged and it lasts up to five hours. Yeah, and what else? Oh, it's real-time tracking with a range of 500 to 800 me meters. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So let me show you the uh, Ruco scanner app real quick. So there's the Ruco scanner app. Go ahead and click on that. And then you see when you're connected to the device, it shows your serial number. You click on that and it'll show all your information, your registration number, your aircraft model, your weight and all that stuff. So this one is, the Ruco F11 Mini is under 250 grams, so you really don't need the remote ID module on it. But since this is a Ruco R111, I figured I'd get the F11 Mini out and put it on there. So yeah, you put all your information in then it'll bound up. So yeah, that's the app. And up here, drones around, it actually shows your location. So there I am at Lake Arthur, in this little picnic area. So yeah, it says it takes a few minutes to pick up satellites, but it doesn't, I don't think it takes that long. So yeah, pretty cool. That's how you track your drone with the Ruco scanner app. So like I said, I have the Ruco F11 Mini. I have the Velcro on the side here. I'll go ahead and Put the module on so there it is it's pretty nice and light so it's not going to affect the drone whatsoever so let's uh let's take the uh, ruco f11 mini and the ruco r111 remote id broadcast module for a little flight and then we'll look at it on the app and check its location let's go so as you can see on the r111 module the middle light is solid and the right hand side light is blinking that means you have satellite acquisition so you're good to go so you can see we've got the ruco r111 remote id broadcast module we do have satellites so we're good to go the drone is good to go so go ahead and take it on up maybe
that can take off. I haven't flown this drone in a while. <laughs> F11 Mini with the remote ID broadcast module so now it's uh, remote ID compliant so we'll take it out for a little flight I haven't had the uh, Ruko F11 Mini out in a while we'll go ahead and hit drone drones around and as you can see There's the drone, and it's actually just gone into return to home. So here it comes, and you can see it flying back to us. So that's pretty cool on the app. And I did take off in that pavilion, so I probably want to stop it from returning to home. I'm not really sure why it's returning to home, but. It's not about the drone, it's about the R111 remote ID broadcast module. So, yeah, there it is, guys. Like I said, I'll have links in the below. Uh, links for the drone, I'll have links for the broadcast module. Anyways, guys, it's Brad from Strike the Drone. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.